Have you ever taken a flight from Hong Kong to London? Or any city in Europe, for that matter? The truth is that while many people fly between these two economic hubs, most of them never look down and see the wonderful places that they're flying past. So what if I told you that while you're 40,000 feet in the air, heading towards Europe while watching that same old movie for the hundredth time, you're missing out on dramatic mountains, pristine lakes, and vast deserts, as some of the world's most unique landscapes roll like a canvas beneath your feet. Let's take a closer look at some of the places on the Chinese section of the flight path. Here in the southeast lies Guilin, where large hills shaped like pillars gently position themselves along the banks of the Li River. Now, this image may remind you of that famous scene from Avatar. And indeed, the design of the set was based in a very similar region. As the old Chinese saying goes, that the mountains and the waters of Guilin are the best in the world, it should come as no surprise that the 39 million annual tourists to Guilin can marvel at some of the world's most exotic car slant forms. If you're an average tourist, though, you may be inclined to admire this from urban Guilin, with the mountains in the backdrop as you mindlessly wander through the busy streets of the city. But the real adventurers, or at least the ones who bother to read travel guides, will head south into Yangshuo to Mount Ruyi, where a 10-minute cable car ride will take you to a suspension bridge linking two of these mountains together. And if the mountains and waters of Guilin are the best in the world wasn't enough for you, the Chinese poets also say that the mountains and waters of Yangshuo are the best in Guilin. If you want to know why, you're going to have to come see for yourself. <coughs> After tying a red knot on the suspension bridge to symbolize good luck, we bid farewell to Guilin as we zoom into yet another section of the flight path. We skirt just east over Chengdu and its pandas before entering the Min Mountain Range to a narrow valley containing some of the clearest waters you can see anywhere on the planet. The Valley of Nine Villages, or Jujago National Park, is just the size of Singapore, but within it, those some 100 lakes spanning over 2,000 meters in altitude, all connected by an intricate network of rivers and waterfalls. What's more, the bottoms of these lakes can regularly be seen, adding a rare blue hue to the sticks and stones submerged in the clear water. If you prefer not to use the seating area's admittedly inefficient shuttle bus system, with the destination of each bus at the entrance being randomly decided, yes, you heard that right, randomly decided, you can opt for a short hike on the 35-kilometer hiking trail traversing the entire valley, giving you the exact same views with more reliability, less CO2, but perhaps more foot pain. After your long day of exploring, you may be astonished to find that the restaurants at the valley entrance only sell spicy food, as is the tradition in Citron province. So if you're spice intolerant like me, fear not. For this rural valley in the middle of one of China's poorest prefectures, somehow, has a hard rock cafe in one of the neighboring outlets, <laughs> which surprised me the first time I saw it too, considering there isn't even one in Shanghai. But I just couldn't resist the urge to eat a good old Western steak free in the middle of a random valley in rural China. <laughs> we continue heading north before making a sharp left turn near the city of Lanzhou as we head into one of the most sparsely populated regions anywhere in the world. But if you thought that the Gobi Desert would just be tumbleweed and cacti with no signs of civilization, you'd be wrong as the oasis city of Dunhuang exists. Due to its odd location, far west from the rest of China, Dunhuang was used as a stopover city for ancient merchants heading towards the western regions to trade with other civilizations. This place is therefore full of historical landmarks, like the Mogao Caves, a series of rock paintings and Buddhist sculptures made 1,000 years ago only in Earth recently. The availability of water in Dunhuang, a rare occurrence, has also led to the formation of Crescent Spring, a lake in the middle of the desert named for its crescent shape. However, the city is also unfortunately a prime example of over-tourism in China. When I visited Dunhuang in the heat of June last year, I was treated to this, a camel highway with tourists on their backs walking in an orderly but very much stinky fashion up to the top of Mingxia Mountain. And the alternative, if your wallet is running dry, walking up these human highways up the steep western slopes of the sand dune. But your visit to Dunhuang doesn't have to be filled with crowds. Take a closer look at this structure here, rising like a beacon in the middle of the Gobi Desert. Doesn't this look like a solar panel farm? If it does to you, you're not alone. Because when I first observed it from the camera of my drone, 
I too thought that it was just a bunch of solar panels that just so happens to be arranged in a perfectly lopsided circular pattern. And the tower in the middle is obviously just a decoration, right? Well, wrong, because after researching for a little while, I realized that the tiny dots we thought were solar panels were actually mirrors, concentrating light on a single point to generate enough heat for electricity. Where else could you find such an exotic structure other than a textbook? Nonetheless, after flying across the magnificent Tian Shan Mountains in Xinjiang, our plane crosses into Kazakhstan, thereby ending our odyssey across China. We've come such a long way, delving deep into the hidden gems of this huge country. But plenty of other world wonders lurk along the exact same flight path, just waiting for you to turn on that external camera you've probably never even touched before. So, if you too want to have a chance at glimpsing these magnificent places from the comfort of your airplane seat, simply open the windows on your next flight to London and let the canvas roll. But if you're a real adventurer and you want to experience these hidden gems on the ground, consider putting China on your bucket list. Thank you. <laughs>